Hello, uh, my name is Garrett Maxson and I work for DragonScripting.com. Uh, today we're going to go over a short tutorial on GoTo uh, function. Um, show what this is going to be. This is going to be part of our examples fundamentals package. Um, it's on our playlist on YouTube and also part of the package on the website for the commands. Um, that website being DragonScripting.com. I'm going to go ahead and get into the command. Uh, we have a few examples of things that are going on in here, uh, but we're mostly going to pay attention to this go to and what it does. Um, made the, uh, the command, nothing special here, and just advanced scripting. And so, what this is going to show is, is this is mostly used when we're making um, commands that have more multiple modules. This is very, like, this is only five or six lines here of, of command. You wouldn't use something like a go to unless you had, like, 60, 70, somewhere around there, like a, a, a larger command. Um, I typically use it for using error coding. If there's an error that happens and it goes to a specific code, um, and we'll go over that in more advanced um, tutorial videos. Uh, but this is, I just want to show you a simple way of how it works. You can use it in the if then statements and select case statements to where we've done videos on those already. Um, and if something comes up, you want to go to a specific section. Um, it's basically what it does. And so what this is, is we'll have a go to, that's the, that's the actual function right there. And we're saying go to, to this. And to this isn't really a variable. It's more like, um, like a bookmark. And so the bookmark leads to down here. It's to this and then the uh, colon after it. Um, so what happens is, is that when it reads this, it's going to skip these two boxes here. Um, like I've written, this line of code will be skipped over and directly to, to this unless the code is broken. This line of code is not working now. It's, yeah, working, yeah, something. So it'll skip over these two message box, boxes and go straight to this bookmark here, and it'll read this one where code is working properly. So if we press play, code is working properly. Now if we were to remove this, and then we can leave the flag in there, um, it'll say this line of code is skipped unless the code is broken. This line of code is not working. So this code is working. So it'll still go through everything. It's not like it won't get here. Um, but if we don't, if we have something that's working, we don't want to hit these two boxes here in the middle. Um, then we can have an if then statement that jumps over them. So we're going to have if then, if then, um, if it's working, go to, to this. And it'll jump down here. Um, and then have an if statement, if else, then hit this one. Um, so we can do that real quick. I equals one. If I equals one, then, okay, and then we can do uh, else. Um, and then we can do uh, and if. So this part should go um, if i equals and i is equal to one, then go to to this, which it'll skip down past this. But if i is not equal to one, or if it's something else, then this code will be hit, and then we can say at that point uh, go to. Um, Okay, end of command. You can't just use end because end of uh, end is used other places. It's a keyword, so we go end of command, and we'll have end of command just jump us all the way down here. Okay, so I this is true at the moment. So I is equal to one. So go to to this, and I'll go to code is working properly. Uh, so I is equal to one. If I equals one, then go to this. So it bypassed all this. It went to this and went message block is working correctly. Okay, now if we my i is equal to 12, and then that's not going to be right. So it'll do else, and it'll, it'll say if i is equal to 1, then it'll skip over this because i is not equal to 1. So it'll do else, and it'll say message box, this one, the command is not working. Now it's going to go to go to end of command, and it's going to bypass this whole thing. And boom, drops down, doesn't even do this one because it drops all the way down here, and there's nothing after that, so that's the end of the command. Um, so that's a very basic way um, of using go to. It's a very fundamental thing to use. It's sort of including it in fundamentals. It's just it's got a lot of uses. You can use it um, for a long time. You, you general user of, of advanced scripting uh, will use this and won't go that much farther than this. Um, so it's good to it's good to have good to have a working knowledge of it. Um, and if then statements we've, we've made uh, videos on that to look at as well as part of the fundamental 
examples. Um, so thank you very much for watching. Um, please give us uh, a like or some feedback on this video um, if it's been helpful or if it hasn't. Um, please check out our website at dragonscripting.com uh, for more commands and tutorial videos that aren't available on, on, uh, on uh, YouTube. We're also going to make a video on the website itself soon. Um, but on the, if you go to the website, there's also a mailing list. Please sign up for the mailing list to get all the recent news uh, and activities and what we're doing, what we're made, um, and uh, also where we learn our knowledge. And uh, We're going to build a forum on there as well eventually. <laughs> um, so thank you very much for your time.